located in a high altitude valley in Colombia's Boyacá department. Villa de Leva is a remarkably well preserved colonial town. Founded in 1572, its cobbled streets and historic architecture remain intact, earning it recognition as a national heritage site. At its centre lies the largest cobbled square in South America, framed by charming whitewashed religious buildings which cover the area's rich pre-Hispanic history. Between the 12th and 16th centuries, Moisca sky watchers and surveyors, known as Shekis, utilised the expansive plaza as an astronomical observatory. Since the 1960s, archaeologists have uncovered surrounding stones and mounds aligned with the plaza, marking significant celestial events that guided the Moisca's civic, agricultural and ritual calendars. The 16th century grid pattern of streets overlays the original Moisca road system. In March 2023, our team used drones to map Vija de Leva at night, revealing this ancient layout through the town's streetlights. Two miles south of Villa de Leva, within clear line of sight, lies El Infernito, ancient Colombia's foremost astronomical centre. Named the Little Hell by 16th century Spanish conquistadors, the site's stone arrangements were linked to what they deemed pagan rites. Columnas son precisamente, esto se convierte en un calendario. Entonces nuestros muiscas se dieron cuenta que cuando la sombra de esta piedra iba por acá. So the format of the observatory spells out the extremes of the sun in its annual cycle. Dating back 2,500 years to the pre-Harara period, this observatory features 109 upright stones arranged in two east-to-west rows. In 1801, natural scientist Alexander von Humboldt suggested that these alignments were used to predict astronomical events, such as solar solstices and equinoxes. This hypothesis was confirmed in 1961 when Carl Henrik a renowned Colombian historian and archaeologist observed that shadows cast during the equinoxes marked the onset of the rainy seasons. The site was also a sacred stage for Moisca purification rites, particularly on April 9th, the Zero Shadow Day, when the sun's zenith at noon caused the stones to cast no shadows. This astro-architectural phenomenon, known as a hierophany, symbolized the profound connection between the sacred and the ordinary. Go for it, just go for it. You view it, you know, this. You see this? <laughs> so, Ash, just look at this shot. So, I've got the, the Moiska 
stones here, but I wanted to get the mountain range in the background just to show a bit more perspective when it comes to the area that it's in. So now I'm gonna do a low fly, slow, at 60 feet altitude, across the sides. That's the end of that shot. Great many bagged it. I'm gonna save that one. So Walter, what are you doing with this drone? Well, Stefan, let me tell you what I'm doing with the drone. <laughs> Taking some images of El Infernito. Yep. And I'm um, gonna try and take, get as many good pictures as we can, stitch them together, make an ortho photo of the entire area here. Hope it's hope it'll work. It's kind of windy today, but got a lot of overlap. Doing a cross hatch pattern for the uh, flight, so we'll probably be okay. So what's an ortho photo? Ortho photos are actual. Uh, accurate representation of the ground. So you take mm -hmm. out all the variabilities, the elevation and things like that. How high is it? Uh, I'm going at 320 meters. No, no, 320 feet, sorry. And um, it's probably gonna take about 200, 250 pictures. And I think the resolution is probably gonna be one and a half inches per, per mm -hmm. pixel. Our non-intrusive archeological research produced the first 3D aerial survey of El Infernito, mapping its environment with precise location data and uncovering previously unknown archaeoastronomical alignments.